It's kind of windy back at the worm farm today. Just added some worms yesterday. Um, I got from Northwest Red Worms, really good place. They deliver good worms, so I like ordering from them when I can. We'll see how they did. I added them to both beds. Um, the worms I added from my house a few weeks ago were actually doing really, really well, and they were breeding and stuff. So I figured it was good a time as other to start buying buying worms and putting them in. So I'll scoop these up just now, and uh, you know they're looking they're, not, they're looking fine. It's only been a day, really a little too early to tell. But um, they're not, I, I scooped kind of around where I put them, and they've been moving around. They're active, they seem to be liking the food they're in. This is good. I mean, this kind of semi-aged horse manure is just good, good stuff, though. Uh, see, he gives big, healthy worms. Um, yeah, this is awesome. This is excited to get started again. Go check the other bed. This is where I put them yesterday. Let's just flip this. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Gentle. Yeah, I put most of them here. And they're not... They look like they've actually all kind of moved around a lot already. That's pretty cool. It's just some big fat reds. They seem act active and acclimated to their new home. They're digging away. It's a good sign. They're digging down in. None were dead on the surface. Good deal. Start buying more. I want to put at least five to 10,000 worms between each one of these posts to get started. I put some more food down here yesterday. See my wheelbarrow's still here. Um, this is all kind of fresher stuff I've been adding the last couple weeks. So yeah, five to 10,000 worms between each post to get started. And then once in about 90 days or so or less, as they kind of start breeding and and uh, moving on their own, I shouldn't have to buy anymore. Last year that worked for a while. I'm letting this completely dry out so I can sift it. It um, it worked for a while, but then we just got dry, ran out of food, got cold. I'm not. There's lots of factors that killed the worms in this bed. Just mistakes of a rookie, which is what I am. And like I said in my earlier videos, I did this at home for several years. And uh, to good success, and still successful at home, I haven't really had any big die-offs in my home beds in over two years or so. But, uh, you know, I screwed up on this bed last year. Huge, couple big mistakes, caused some big die-offs and stuff. I got a whole video series on that. Um, took a while to diagnose what it was. But then over the winter, just not enough fresh food and... I don't know if the cold was the issue because it never got really below freezing in the bed, but I think it was more of a fresh food and oxygen issue again. And, you know, we only found a few hundred worms at most as we were sifting this section right here I'm standing in. Sifted about 20 feet of it so far. Um, the good news is, though, is they ran out of food, which means they basically finished everything in that bed. It was, it was done and good to go. It's really, really good castings and stuff. It just... Lost all my worms in the process, which really sucks, but won't happen this year. Got better food, better feed. Stuff I got this year. Oh, look, the worms have already dug away. That's a good sign. That means they're actively going down into the bed. This stuff is, you know, as I move it around with my hand, as I'm talking about how it's fresher manure, um, obviously don't, that stuff, that sort of stuff doesn't bother me anymore. This is fresher, cleaner, hotter. Um, it's, it's, it's aged about six months or so um really has a lot of energy left in it the worms are just they're gonna love it so far it seems like they are they've only been here for 24 hours and seeing them this active is is good i'm really really excited just to show again how extensive our feed piles are for these worms 
And the farmer here who owns this land will probably use some of this on his fields. Um, but he also says that he has so much to spare that he'll to not even worry about ever running out. We'll have more than we need, fresh, old, any type, mystery type, horse manure, stall bedding and manure and stuff like that. This is mostly cow that I'm standing on. But, I mean, this is close to 120 feet long and 30, over 30 feet wide at its widest point. You know, about four or five feet tall. It's big. There's a lot. We're going to expand and fill this entire shed right here. Um, hopefully in the next couple of years. I'm really hoping this year come in the back over here Put up the, we put up this windscreen. Didn't really do much over the winter. So my goal this year, I have a lot of goals that I may not reach, but it's good to have goals and at least give your best effort to reach them. Is my goal this year is to at least get down to here. That's about 200 feet. And um, I don't know if I'll do the sidewalk one. I'm just gonna test it and see if maybe that's still a viable thing. But, um. I think we're just going to start painting the pillars. I may even get some tar and do the tar on the pillars just to keep them safer and come right down the middle and get at least 200 feet long by the end of the summer. Um, longer would be great, but I'm going to kind of keep it realistic and go for 200 feet and um, see it. 1,000 worms per square foot, 6 by 200. Yeah, it's going to be a lot. A lot of worms. Anyway. It's, it's exciting. I really like doing this and it's been good to kind of be forcefully given a lot of spare time to work on it more. Looks like the quarry opened back up. It's actually not a quarry, it's like a gravel pit and they make, let's focus, come on phone. They make asphalt up there. And uh, that's where I got my rock powder from last year. Oh, come on, stay still. I'm going to have to get a lot more this year go up and get a truck full or a dump trailer full. It's good stuff. I really need to go digging through some of these older piles and find these layers of just straight eggshells. That's all that is. There's a... Man, just... I think this is one of the eight came in this bag. Man, just... Straight eggshells. Yeah. The bag that it was in is starting to fall apart. But crumbled up from ground up, separated by centrifuge. Another big chunk. Oh, that's like the real deal. Man, I'm gonna go put that in my bucket of rock powder. That's the last of it I have left. I gotta go get more. Hey, buddy. The F-35 is supposed to be flying over today. That's awesome. Taking home another bucket of castings and my 1-8 sifter so I can sift the straw out of this stuff before I bag it. It just kind of looks bad with some window in my bags. It looks kind of bad with the straw in there, even though it's totally fine. All right, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, things are going great so far this year, um, besides our little cold snap a couple weeks ago that slowed things down slowed my start down um things are looking up things are looking awesome like i added worms and they're thriving they're happy um they're you know they're starting to breed and it's they're eating our food they just going exactly how i hoped it would go um anyway thanks for watching sorry these kind of been monotonous videos the last few weeks been hard with lockdown to really do much and you know do some real some real videos but i have some in the works some some that i've written down some good stuff coming down the pipeline um the expansion is going to be fun to watch and uh adding more worms all the time is going to be fun to watch and seeing things spread out and go faster and faster um so got castings for sale i'm, I'm going to lower the price on them a little bit it's a bit pricey at the moment but lower the price they're on the website westmountainorganic.com um, it's in the description uh, like and subscribe if you want to watch more. I'm gonna, I'll be back in a week or so.